Good morning, everybody. And on today's episode of Pinch House Garage, we're going to learn how to take off our fairings, our windshield, and give you access to areas in your bike that are not normally accessible without removing all these parts. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy House Garage. So for the first part of your pretty much this assembly, highly recommend removing the tub. I already have a DIY on how to remove the tub and the seat as one piece. Look it up on my um, Honda ADV playlist. It's there, it's super easy. Once you do that, forget about that for the moment. Let's move on over over here to your windshield and the front of your bike. Now, a couple things you guys gotta really focus on is proper tools because what's gonna happen, you're gonna start prying on plastic and you're gonna break it. So you have to be very careful. Um, the windshield uses five millimeter Allen bolts. The cowl that's on the top of your bike, right here. There's a cowl that sits on top. Um, that's a five millimeter too, right here and on the other side. So let's get that, let's get removing that. So there's four five millimeter bolts on the front of the windshield. One thing you get in the habit when you remove the windshield is be very careful and not push too hard because the, uh, the little rubber bolts that you screw this into can damage easily. Now when you remove your windshield, it's probably going to be a good time to get ready to start doing some cleaning on some of the areas on the behind the windshield because they don't get clean when you ride or when you actually wash your bike. Um, so this is like a good time to get like a nice little brush, some microfiber towels, and just start uh, cleaning the area behind your bike. So all of this behind here is going to get dirty. All of this where the windshield gets covered gets dirty. It's a good time to just get cloth and just start going in there. Maybe a little nylon brush and clean that all up. The next step here is there's two 5mm bolts here and here for the cowl. I call it a cowl. I don't know what it's really called, but that's what I call it. And you know they're very specific because they have a little uh, shoulder in them, like that. They're specific to that spot, just so you guys know. I also brought along with me some pry tools. Pick these up on Amazon for like 10 bucks. They come in a little box set of five different pieces. These are the ones I use the most. Um, so you wanna get underneath. And what you're doing is you're gonna pull up, up and over, okay? So when you pry up, you're gonna push forward, okay? the process on the other side. So what's next is you gotta get this cover, cause it's stuck here. 
Okay. Basically, you gotta get in there. portion off as best you can. That's what these tools are for. Here, um, <clears throat> you, can, you can either if you're gonna if you're gonna wrap other portions of the bike, then it's good that you can remove this. If you want to, you don't have to. Um, it just we need to remove this cowl so we get the access to the two screws on top. We come over here. There's a little Phillips screw right here. Once you break that loose, you'll see here, this is, there's not much here, but there's a layer. See if my finger right here, there's this right here. Keep an eye on this because you can bend this back and damage it. As you go down, this is all kind of intertwined in a layer and like, what's the word on? It's in holes, but you have to be very careful because if you pull up too quick, it will snap and then it won't give you a nice tight fitment when you try to put it back together. So we're gonna take this one screw off. And you'll see, kinda made it loose already. Not too loose, but a little bit. Put that one aside. Um, before I forget, there's actually a couple more pieces you have to remove um, down here. Um, let me see if I can get you guys down there because it's kind of hard to see. So there's two body grommets, one right here. You'll feel them. You gotta feel for them. There's one. One more in a tight spot. So there is two body grommets, one right here, and then one right over here in this corner. Okay, behind here, the plastic. You'll see them, they're very obvious underneath. Take those two off. Should give you everything you need to do now. You can take this front fairing off, all right, safely. So now, you wanna work your way kinda like, in both places, it's kinda hard to describe on how you work your way around here. But, So I started prying this way, I already popped out this part of the fairing down here. So now that I put this portion of the fairing underneath it, now I don't have to worry about that. This top portion popped. Um, you want to pull this way, okay? Pry up and over because there's a plastic lip that's in there that'll snap if you pull up too hard. Let's see, this 
whole front end is already popping out this way. Now keep in mind, there's a wire harness for your turn signal. Um, very, very vital that you don't yank it off and then rip the harness. You want to pop those out when, you're, when you get to that point. Um, this is also a good time if you want to upgrade your lights to something that's maybe a uh, trailing or bigger or just a different style. This is the time to do it if you're going to start taking off your fairings, okay? So as you pop this off, before you start yanking, there's one more screw left, okay? And that's inside your fuel tank, or fuel fill up. So pop the uh, fuel cover open, there's a screw right here. Now if you're taking both left and right fairings off, take both screws off. There's a screw right inside here that holds this piece of the fairing in place right here. So take that screw off and then the whole fairing should come right off. Now, you have full access to headlight replacement on this side, if you need to replace a bulb, uh, any manual service, anything like that. This is also a good opportunity if you bought the A-Racer ECU, which I have right here, um, fed into here, and then running down the harness this way. So the next step, is to get now remove this portion of the fairing so we can work our way over to the red side the other half now on this one it's a little easier because things are now more exposed than before um, so we have a screw here uh, this is I think just tied on to here it's nothing special and the screws right behind here on the back and we'll show you guys again where to get to them because there's some screws that are a little tricky that if you don't see them you can damage something really easily and potentially ruin putting back your bike together and if you want to remove this piece it's a cosmetic piece but if not you can do that alone but this is the only screw here um, again if you're removing this portion of the fairing we're going to remove this now if you need to do service or if you want to do a cam install like i'm going to do this comes off this whole piece comes off so this will expose this side of the engine so we're going to show you guys how to remove all that as well so i took the one screw off here there's four screws right back here uh, that hold, hold the red portion of the fairing I think this is a matter of the Just in case. Now there's a screw here to hold um, the red fairing in place. Oh, I missed 
one right here. Now, this is where you're going to draw the line on what you're going to remove. I mean, if there's other little black bits you can take off or a wrap, if you don't want to change it or go to different something, you know, a different color or just leave them alone. <laughs> Pretty much that's all your front end. Over here, you can repeat the process. It's identical on the passenger side, I'm not, I guess on the right side of the bike and repeat it. And then this last piece of red here is held by a couple screws only and it pops right off. Same underneath, your little fender. You got a couple little pieces on the sides. Take those off and that comes right off. All the red will come right off and that way, that way you can do a color change. Um, that's pretty much the extent of the fairing removals uh, of the specific color uh, fairing removal. Um, if you want to go more in debt and then start taking more off, we will. Um, I'm going to take off. Um, I'm going to take off this portion. Not off of here, but this piece right here comes off. And this gives us full access to the head right here. Because uh, we're going to do the cam install. Installed my uh, my O2 sensor. Just gotta uh, wire it up to the new A Racer Mini 5 uh, sensor here. Um, make sure that works and uh, give it for a good, good test run in a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is straightforward if you want to go further into removing your fairings. But that is your cosmetic portion that matters if you're gonna go all out. Um, for doing a color swap and if you're doing the A-Racer Mini 5 ECU um, pretty much here's the ECU for the bike you unplug it and then run the wiring that comes with it and the ECU is actually right there just chilling there and then you run all the wiring down this way I mean, there's not much for me to show you on that portion because it's Right there, and you tuck it in and just make sure everything runs nicely. I guess that's it for today's episode of Beach House Garage and how to remove your fairings. Um, thanks for watching. Peace out, and you guys have a wonderful day.